Hello and welcome again to our training. Today we are going to see about background checks. So you have here in the test commands, uh, the test commands from VT Studio, we have um, a chapter here, background checks. So the background checks enables you to to check some values or nodes or messages during the all, all duration of your test case. So if you want to do a that's why they are called background checks because they do a check on the background of your test case so you start your check do whatever you want in your test case and you can continue your check until the end of the test case or when you stop it so let's see some of the examples here we have um, some flex ray checks burst time limit observe the maximum burst time limit on, limit on a bus cycle time absolute this is really useful to check the cycle time of your messages dlc check error frame count fallback fallback creation check for gateway tests uh, message count observation monitors the minimum and maximum number of, for each of the defined messages within specific cycle time interval message no no value change verifies that the signal value does not change node active node inactive occurrence count occurrence of message value dependency value valid verifies the value condition so you can check in details each of those uh, commands uh, we are going to use just two of them today cycle time and the value valid so let's try the cycle time i'm going to create a new test case uh, can cycle time usually you need to on the bus you need to test your cycle time so you need to it's easy to use those um, those um, commands so um, cycle time absolute I'm going to to use I'm going to use it twice because I have two messages on the bus um, you can see here control message and seat message so for each one I will drag I will drag my can, me can message here um, and of course you need to put minimum and maximum cycle time so here on the bus my cycle time is 100 milliseconds for both messages usually when we check cycle time we need to put a 10% tolerance so it's going to be the minimum will be 90 milliseconds and the maximum will be 110 I will do this for both 90 milliseconds and 100 100 milliseconds um, here I want to wait wait I don't know let's check it for 10 seconds um, and this can be sufficient I will execute my test case to check my cycle time So I'm, I'm basically waiting for 10 seconds and my test case is passed. I want to show you the test report. It's at, um, as a test report viewer, usually we use HTML. Here you have the details, so it's very nice because you have the details in the report so you got here all your you you have here all the samples so you have um, minimal measured cycle time maximum here it's really stable because um, we don't have only two messages but uh, when you have a lot of messages on the bus you'll get some different values here of course the average cycle time is 100 a number of samples 100 because we put 
1000 milliseconds the cycle time is 100 and of course you'll, you'll get the number of samples 100 and you see here the distribution of measured times so yeah it looks really nice you have this table and you can check very very nice you can check the, the cycle time in this in this way so this is um, how we can check fast the cycle time of our messages from um, from our um, rest bus okay um, I will go I'm going to well, I use another uh, test command now value valid um, this val <clears throat> very fast value condition so I want to check that signal or this var it's between uh, specific value values uh, let me copy this test case longitudinal adjustment um, and stress test I'm going to create create a, a stress test here I'm I will leave this at the end of my test cases to be easy to, to view and let's play here with those uh let's i will delete this uh, but first of all i want to insert a command value valid and here i'm going to check this um, long longitudinal position so i'm going to go to longitudinal position I put a symbol here and what's interesting here I can use um, range so um, we have it from 0 to 20 so I want to play with the um, the seat the longitudinal position and in the meantime I want to check that uh, the value is valid so it's not going outside those interval it stays between 0 and 20 so I will put this here at the beginning of my test case um, and here I'm going to play a little bit this one I will delete and this one too um, yeah I think I, I will just leave it like this here we just um, we just push the, the buttons uh, another thing thing I want to show you here is um, the caption for the background checks the caption is very important because uh, if you leave it like this you cannot use it but it's important to write it check uh, to make it don't don't use the default caption so you put your something over there check longitudinal position let's say why I'm using this because maybe you don't need or you don't want to use the background check until the end so as we done it here uh, the, the check the background check goes until the end of the test case it doesn't matter if you add here 20 other test commands test steps the check will go until the end but you can stop your check in some point in your test case so you have checked the activation so if you define here uh, your caption you need to write your own caption here you can use this command afterwards check check the activation check longitudinal position you can see that you have the same name from the caption here so the caption it's linked to the check the activation so um, if I put it here my value valid will be checked until this point in the test case then it will be stop, stopped so uh, we can use check the activation to, to stop our background check whenever we want in our test case but it's important to define our um, caption here so don't leave it default because you, if you leave it default uh, the check the activation won't be available so you can not use it and then your uh, background check will go until the end of the test case but if you want to stop it earlier or easy to read your test case or understand it better you can 
you can use the check the activation you can see that the background checks have a different design here so it's the arrow down so it's easy to 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 see them in in your test case let's try our test case uh, we have here uh, an error uh, I added by mistake a check so if I execute now my test case my stress test it's just a dummy test yeah so you can see again the distribution of measured values this is what I like very much of for those background checks because you have this table and here you can see how many times it were it had those values right so number of samples five measured maximum value was four so it didn't go beyond four